So this video is part of a series on creating charts and .xlsx files with Python and uh, we'll be using Google Colab uh, for this tutorial. Um, just want to mention there's two types of charts uh, that are often used, uh, embedded charts which are within the same sheet or grid as uh, as the data and uh, chart sheets which are uh, independent sheets that only can the charts. Um, so uh, this this video, in a previous video, I focused on creating a column chart in um, .xlsx files, and uh, the second way we're looking at on the subject of this video is creating a pie chart in a .xlsx file. So now we're going to jump into Google Colab uh, in the Jupyter notebook and look at how to. So for this example, I'm uh, looking at creating a pie chart and uh, using Python um, in the .xlsx file. Um, so I'm using the California housing data set from the scikit-learn library. Um, and we'll look at the percentage of houses that are in the average bedroom number category. Um, similar to a uh, previous video I made on column charts, I'm going to use the Pandas data frame to Excel method. Um, it's a link to documentation um, and for Pandas uh, Excel Writer 2, another link. So let's take a brief look at the code and then I'll take a look at the output. Um, I do a bit of work because um, with the data set, once I do the uh, converting the um, data set into a Pandas data frame, uh, I then you know, bin uh, the data based on the number uh, of average bedrooms. Um, so there's what a category of 10 plus. Uh, here, you know, I'm just making a uh, subsets of uh, this column called uh, the average rooms bin. Um, and so depending on the number of rooms, they're in these different bins, uh, which is what we're going to do to um, so, so we can have these different sections of the pie chart. Hope that makes sense. Um, so then after doing uh, that manipulation on the data then we have a very small example. Uh, you know, I also use, uh, I, I uh, set the tail of the chart here um, And uh, I write the data directly into uh, the sheet using uh, Excel Writer. And then I use the uh, add series um, function um, to put in the values and the categories. Um, and this you know, if you're not familiar with some of these things, it's going to make a lot more sense once we look at the output. So I'm going to go ahead and run this. And then uh, in this video, everything, uh, well, the output is going to be in my current working directory. Um, and I'm going to download it, and then we'll go take a look at it in Excel or Libra. So here I am in Excel Libra, and this is the output I generated. Um, it's not ordered very well. You probably want the greater than, uh, sorry, the less than or equal to free up top. But that's fine. This is just a basically reproducible example uh, that I wanted to provide. Um, so here, when we talk about add series and values, so the values are sheet one, uh, B2 through B6. So we see those here, and um, the categories are A2 through A6, so here. And then that's basically all we need. I did add a title as well, I used the set title function. Um, and I just got the default um, legend, which isn't isn't super great. You can do a lot more with the legend. Um, 
but that's a that's a more advanced topic. If you wanted to do more with the legend, I'd say look at the XLSX writer documentation, and that would be a good source of information. So that's about it for Grain A, uh, basic example um, of a pie chart uh, in uh, .xlsx file in Python. Uh, again, this code is available in the description below um, in this video, and uh, I also have a video that will be linked um, that provides you a basic example of doing this in column data, and I have uh, another four videos um, coming shortly that look at other types of charts like line charts and scatter charts. Uh, using similarly basic examples uh, for creating um, XLSX outputs in Python. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video.